Hey, this is Jane and welcome to video six in our Build a Mighty Network series. This one is all about how to keep things super engaging from the get-go using polls and questions. And like many things here at Mighty, we give you a leg up so you are not starting from scratch. We right now are in the feed. This was one of the initial spaces that was created when I created Fresh Veg, which is my community that we're building together here. So this was created for me and it already had polls and questions in it posted by me on behalf of me that were auto generated based on what my community Fresh Veg is about, which is vegetarian cooking. So part of onboarding, these questions were created and there's four types of questions and polls that you can have in a feed on your Mighty Network. One of them is this, this is the basic question. So the idea is people answer and you're gonna get a long comment list of the answers here. Then there is this percentage poll. So this is like a scale of one to 10 kind of thing. And what happens is let's say I wanna be, I wanna be up there. It shows your vote to the member and then it will also show the community average. This is just me. So I'm the average right now. <clears throat> then we have a multiple choice poll. This is a public poll. So when I choose here, definitely grocery shopping, my image is going to be associated with my answer. And so people have a nice visual representation of who is answering what. And then we have a hot cold poll. So this is great. This is about like comfort, feeling, sentiment. This is a fun one. Love me some tofu. I'm going to be up here. And then it shows us like a cool visual graph. So what we love about these polls and questions are they are super easy to answer, especially on mobile. They look great. They're really eye catching. And once your members answer them, then they get notified when other people answer them or if they comment when people reply to their comments, it starts this cascade of connections from a really simple question. Now, as a host, you can create a poll or question anytime you want to. So I just go up here, I choose create poll, I pick what kind of poll I want to create. Very, very easy. And then when I post it, I can notify all. So how do you feel about celery? Sure, post, notify all. All my members get a notification that they need to weigh in. I love it, just so you know. Okay, but, 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 here is one of the many things that makes Mighty special. You can turn this on autopilot. So I clicked the gear <clears throat> to go to the space admin. This is the space admin for the space I am in. And you can do this in any space that has a feed. Remember, spaces on Mighty have features in them. A feed is one of those features. You can create as many spaces as you'd like that have feeds in them. So you can see polls and questions are on. I have everyone can create, so my members can create them too. And then we come to the infinite question engine. Sounds pretty good, huh? I'm gonna turn that on. I'm going to save it. And let's see our questions. Now what this does is it looks at the purpose of this space or the purpose of my community and it generates questions. And then I can choose to auto post these questions every single Monday and notify all when they go live. I can edit them. So I can edit these posts, your main reason for stylistic reasons or whatever I want, save it. I can also move them around in the queue and I can totally delete them. So I can say, you know what? I don't like this one. Get rid of this one. If I do not want to auto post, no big deal. I can still treat this as a library of just endless questions that I can go through. I can pick the ones I like and I can schedule them. I can say, you know what? This is great. I want to post it tomorrow. I want to do it at this time. And I definitely want to notify all my members about it. It is so worth the 10 minutes you should take right now. Stop this video. Go into your Mighty Network. 
turn on the infinite question engine. If you're in a free trial, the infinite question engine is available because it is available on our business plan and up. So you have this right now in your trial, turn it on and schedule up 10, 15, 20 questions to get you through your first month on a mighty network. I promise you, I promise you, you will see a difference in the engagement of your members, especially if you're notifying them all. So this is a little bit of a secret, amazing superpower you have on your Mighty Network because all these posts, they will look like they are coming from you. They will look like you are coming from you, even if you turn on auto post. So we have the infinite question engine. We have polls and questions ready in our feed for our members. There's one more question I want to talk about, which is an icebreaker. So again, I'm going to go to my feed admin and I'm going to turn on the icebreaker question. So the icebreaker question lives in a feed. So it's going to be whenever a new member joins the space, which they happen to do when they join my network, I'm going to turn it on. They will be greeted with this question. It will pop up and they will answer it. And then other members will be able to chime in. So we have an idea here. We can suggest more if you'd like. These are much more attuned to my you know, big purpose. I love this one. Mine's mac and cheese. That's a great one. I can change the tone if I want to, but I like what we're doing here. Save it. And now everybody who comes into my community, they're going to join this feed and it's going to ask them this question. What I love about an icebreaker is it gets them contributing right away. There's no confusion about what do I do? You answer the question and it's light and it's fun and other people are going to be chiming in and welcoming your new members for you. It is such a fantastic experience. So we have our polls and questions. We have our icebreaker questions set up. I want to show you how these both fit into how Mighty thinks about AI in general. So I'm in my admin. I'm going to go to AI features right here. And there's a few things to explore. So Mighty thinks about AI differently than many other companies. It is not about creating tons of, let's be real, mediocre content. It is about two things. One, bringing people together, making those connections between your members easier, faster, more fun, because that is ultimately what's going to make you successful as the host of this community, whether you're running courses, whether you're doing the paid memberships, whatever your goals are, having the people in your community connect is going to make you more successful. We see it in our data. So we call that people magic. And these are our people magic AI features. There's show similarities. So we've looked at the people explore in past videos. This helps members see what they have in common with other members. We help members write their profiles. So you come to a new community, you have a profile, maybe you're a little bit, oh, I have blank page syndrome. We will help them write their profile. They can answer a few questions. It, it makes it easier. We also help break the ice between members. So giving them suggestions for, hey, you have this in common with this person. Maybe your, your, first, your first message to them should be about X, Y, or Z. Helping them kind of warm up the conversation, which is fantastic. I've shown you the icebreaker suggestion. And activity assist is helping you reach out to people who maybe are a little less active and prompting them to come back and start connecting with other people. And then, of course, we have the infinite question engine. So all of these people magic AI features, again, it's not about creating a ton of content. It is about bringing people together and helping them connect more easily with each other. Then the other thing we use AI for in a mighty network is just stopping that blank page paralysis that I feel like we can so often have when we're starting something new, right? You're staring at the blank page, just figuring out how to structure your thinking or get that first draft out there. So we make it easier with these AI features. Instant course outline. We use this in a previous video to make the outline for our course. It was really helpful. We changed it. We moved things around. It wasn't just you know create an outline and publish, but it stopped me from banging my head against the wall trying to think about the perfect way to structure something. Love that. 
We have our Make It Better, which can basically fine tune anything you write in your Mighty Network. So we're asking you to start with something and then we're kind of making it longer, making it shorter, giving you that next draft that you can polish up, suggesting hashtags to help people better group content. And then if you do want to have a application at the front of your Mighty Network to you know, ask people questions before they join, we will help you generate some suggestions there. And that is the purpose of AI in a Mighty Network, bringing people together, stopping you from hitting that wall of creating something from scratch. You can also toggle these completely on or off. So if you don't want to use any AI, just toggle them off. The default is on. Okay. We have our questions in our feed. We are ready to have an incredibly engaging experience in our Mighty Network for people coming in. They will be greeted with an icebreaker and then have many more polls and questions to answer. And I feel really great about Celery. I will see you in the next 